All right, you're watching NFL Now, presented by IKEA on NFL Network. Bucky Brooks has lists his top five interior old linemen. He's got Steve Avila sitting there at number three on his list. Those top three guys we all saw at the Senior Bowl, and Steve is here with us. Steve, it says uh, interior offensive lineman, but dude, you you pretty much played everything but what? Left tackle? Yeah, left tackle. That was it. I kind of played everywhere, so. Got to take some pride in, into all that. You should take some pride and some flexibility here. <laughs> Steve Avila joins us. Steve, uh, hap happy we have you here. Um, that flexibility is a big thing, though, right? I mean, you went to the Senior Bowl, and you were all over the map. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, that's something that I always, you know, try to carry myself with. Like, I want people to know that I am a very flexible player. Um, I have position flex, but also I feel like I do have a lot of scheme flex, too. So uh, I tried to make that apparent, you know, when I was at the Senior Bowl. And you have attitude flex as well. I mean, we had cameras down there during our Senior Bowl practices on NFL Plus. Steve, um, our friends down there, because I was up at the booth, said every time you made a play, you were just smiling and laughing. I mean, you were you were knocking guys on their rear and joking and laughing and smiling, and then you're smiling here. I mean, th that's like a huge part of your personality and your game, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I mean, when it's game time, you step on the field, you got to flip that switch. So um, finding a balance for me has, is definitely something that I had to learn, you know, going into this profession um, and playing football. But yeah, man, I always try to carry myself, you know, very highly, um, especially with my teammates. But, you know, when them pads come on, you know, it's gotta, you got to flip that switch. You said you had to learn, like coaches told you you were too, too loose. No, this was like when I was a kid, gotcha. like, you know, playing Pee Wee and all that stuff. And my mom, I remember I had a story. She always brings this up. Like I knocked someone down and then I told her that I asked if he was OK or something. <laughs> but that was, I was really young. So yeah. <laughs> don't ask if the other guy is OK. Gotcha. <laughs> um, but I was watching uh, another interview with you and, and we can't I, we, we were trying to get the picture cleared from Disney here, but we couldn't get it up. The teammates think your haircut, your chief Tui for Moana. Oh, yeah, man, I always I always get that every single time. There's so many comparisons. I don't know if it's the hair or what, but I always get a lot of comparison. Are you going to cut the hair when you get to the NFL? Mm -mm, no, I, I cut it one time, and that was going into college, and I will never do it again. I feel like it's a trademark now, so... Um, you know, I love, I love having long hair. All right, so you're going to keep the hair. Would you go back to your given name? Because your given name is Esteban, right? And one day someone just showed up and called you Steve? Yeah. Yeah, so my, my coach in high school, um, he one day was like, man, I, I'm, I can't say that, so I'm going to just call you Steve. How hard, you is, actually, how hard is that? It's not that hard. You actually said it pretty nice. You said it well. But I've had so much stuff, like... Um, I was just on another TV network, and the ID that they gave me said Stefan. I've just had so many. Yeah, it's just like a bunch of different uh, name problems. So, Steve, you know, you can't get that wrong. Okay, so, so, so okay. You're, you're cool with Steve. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Good with Steve. Um, I went through your Twitter last night, Steve, and, and there's a lot, a lot of retweets. You supporting your teammates here. Also, three or four where when you were named Consensus All-American, you retweeted that, and you you were grateful to people noticing that. How significant was that to you? Uh, are you talking about like the consensus stuff, yeah. or just exposure? Uh, it was uh, it meant a lot to me because I knew uh, you know the history at TCU, and I remember going into TCU. I asked myself like, what can I do to leave my mark here? Um, you know, I felt like I, I did a pretty good job, but, you know, uh, after the season, I was able to, you know, take a step back and actually realize everything, even the team season and, and how I performed. And, you know, I'm definitely glad, you know, I could be a part of that team. You grew up or you went to high school nine miles from AT&T Stadium. You're in Fort Worth right now. Steve, mm -hmm. Esteban, would, would you want to be a Dallas Cowboy? Uh, whatever team drafts me, I know I'll be blessed. I mean, I have no complaints, but, um, you know, being in front of fan, uh, my family and stuff, you know, that, that would be awesome. And I'm sure, you know, every other player would say the same thing. So, yeah. We had your quarterback on a couple of days ago. Tell me about mm -hmm. Max Duggan. He too was at the senior bowl here. What an amazing ride an amazing last eight months for all of you. But Max certainly mm -hmm. here considering, you know, Heisman and, and yeah. wasn't even going to be the starter right out of the gate. Tell NFL mm -hmm. teams why they should believe in Max Duggan. 
Man, I, I could talk for hours about him. He, he's just such a great guy. Um, you know, I have all my trust in him. Uh, he's just carried himself, you know, the same through every single year. And, you know, it was able, you were able to see that this year, you know, when things weren't going so well for him. And he just carried himself the same way. Um, my offensive line coach said that he is an offensive lineman in a quarterback's body. And I think that is the perfect way, you know, to describe him. He's going to put his shoulder down and, and go through you rather than yeah. go around you, and he's going to yeah. enjoy, I think, mm -hmm. going through you. This guy does as well. Steve Avila, TCU offensive lineman, consensus All-American, getting ready for the draft in 13 days. Steve, good luck to you. Can't wait to see where you go. All right. Thank you so much.